हेलो एंड वेलकम टू लर्न स्टैटिस्टिक्स क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द स्टैटिस्टिकल कंसेप्ट इन सिंपल एंड मोर इजी वे द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न स्क्यूनेस एंड करटोसेस ऑफ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सो वी शेल स्टार्ट विथ स्क्यूनेस ऑफ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन वी नो डैट स्क्यूनेस मीन्स द लैक ऑफ सिमेट्री of a distribution in this property we will ch check the symmetry of normal distribution so if x follow a normal distribution with parameter mu sigma square then the coefficient of skewness is defined as it is denoted by beta 1 which is equal to mu 3 square divided by mu 2 cube one can write the coefficient of skewness as gamma 1 equal to positive square root of beta 1 we know that the third central moment of a normal distribution is zero and the second central moment is sigma square we have already studied the central moments of a normal distribution and the relation between cumulants and central moments if student want to learn the relation between cumulant and central moment then click on the i button at the top right corner of the screen and link of that lecture is also mentioned in the description below therefore the value of beta 1 is equal to 0 square divided by sigma square cube which is equal to 0 divided by sigma raised to 6 and that is 0 hence beta 1 the coefficient of skewness is equal to 0 and gamma 1 is the positive square root of beta 1 which is equal to also 0 we have already studied if beta 1 equal to 0 then the corresponding distribution is symmetrical therefore the normal distribution with parameters mu sigma square is symmetrical about x equal to mod and we know that the value of mod equal to mu normal distribution is symmetrical about mu the value of mod is we have already calculated in the previous lecture student may refer that lecture by clicking on the top right corner of the screen and link of that lecture is also mentioned in the description below now we will start with kurtosses of normal distribution in the kurtosses we study the peakness of a frequency distribution means how the frequency distributions is peak if x follow a normal with mu sigma square then the coefficient of kurtosses beta 2 is defined as beta 2 equal to mu 4 divided by mu 2 square kurtosses can be also measured by gamma 2 which is equal to beta 2 minus 3 now we know that the fourth central moment is 3 sigma raised to 4 second central moment is sigma square whole square so it is 3 into sigma raised to 4 upon sigma raised to 4 which is equal to 3 therefore beta 2 equal to 3 and gamma 2 is equal to beta 2 minus 3 which is equal to 3 minus 3 0 these are the coefficient of kurtosses 
if beta 2 equal to 3 then the corresponding frequency distribution is a normal peaked frequency distribution means a kurtosis of beta 2 equal to 3 is a mesokurtic distribution hence here normal distribution is mesokurtic mesokurtic means if we plot a pdf of normal distribution then the peak of normal distribution is neither so flat nor so peaked it is in between platycurtic and leptocurtic so it is a mesocurtic distribution in this way in this lecture we learn the skewness and kurtosis of normal distribution and also we calculate the values of coefficient of kurtosis and coefficient of skewness further we observed that a normal distribution is a symmetric distribution with it has a mesocurtic property of frequency curve in the previous lecture we have already taken the concept from normal distribution if student want to learn that lecture click on the i button at the top right corner of the screen and link of that playlist is also mentioned in the description below many more continuous probability distributions are also discussed on learn statistics platform student can refer that link in the description box and in the upcoming days many more lectures will be considered and will be discussed on the learn statistics channel if student like this lecture click on the like button share with your friends to study the statistics subject in simple and more easy way further the students are requested to subscribe the learn statistics channel in order to get the notification of upcoming lectures in the upcoming day in the next lecture we will meet with the next concept from the normal distribution till then we will stop here thank you